We do. Things are quieter, but that doesn't mean we're in the clear quite yet. And so let's go over the tropics, some developments that we've seen for today. Nothing major, but we did want to update you. We have two areas that are being watched for potential development when it comes to the tropics. So let's start with the one that's closer to home. This is a little wave that uh, wants to spin up into an area of low pressure, but does that low turn tropical? That's the big dollar question, right? Well, it has a 10% chance, so that's a low percent of this actually taking on tropical characteristics. Number one, it's a little bit too close to land. Number two, we also have some breezy winds the next couple of days. So it's going to struggle to turn tropical with just those two things. But I will say that it's kind of placed where the Gulf Stream is. So it definitely has plenty of moisture and heat to work with. Uh, so we will see if that turns tropical. Either way, it will be an area of low pressure and it will spin up some extra moisture our way. Uh, as we look at this area over here, this is a little seedling, those uh, waves that come off the coast of Africa. This is pretty typical, right? Main development region right around here. That has a 20% chance of development inside this yellow area. Again, another low chance of development, but this is something we are going to watch. Some of the models are starting to hint at something that's trying to spin up closer to October 11th. However, that's just one or two runs of the models right now. But I will say the GFS and the Euro keep picking up on a little bit of noise out there. So we'll see if anything actually comes of that. Also, we have Imelda. That's now a post-tropical low. There it is. It cruised by Bermuda overnight. We showed you some of that video earlier in the show. It's moving east-northeast at 29 miles per hour with 75 mile per hour winds. Now, did it actually make landfall? No, it didn't. So in order to have official landfall, the eye of the hurricane needs to move um, perpendicular or it needs to basically cross over land and it did not do that. You see the center of the storm indicated by the red line here. The historical data shows it just south of Bermuda by about seven mi miles and that's using our in-house measuring tool. So you can give it or take on that seven. But the important part is that it was just south the center of the storm of Bermuda. So it didn't officially make landfall. However, they still had the gusty winds because remember the strongest winds are around the eye of the storm.